You're back with us at Square Up of the Neck in Manchester for a very special show. It's a Manchester Pride edition. Mm, and we are joined by Lucy Spraggles! Yes! Hi, Spraggles. C- can, can you hear us over all the adoring fans that, that have flocked outside? <laughs> I, I can. There were fans outside and I was like, they said, can we come in? I was like, I don't really know how this works. I know, they asked me. I've never seen some people so disappointed in just seeing me. Oh. Like, I stuck my head out the window. Oh. I was like, you're not Lucy. I was like, I'm well aware of that. <laughs> you should have been like, yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. I've changed. <laughs> this is the new album look. You're going to be disappointed. Everything <laughs> changes. Yeah. You're getting all the love on chat, by the way. I, Woo, Lucy. I did just see somebody say that <laughs> I exposed myself to them. Like, if you go up, oh. like, I don't oh. know if we can, can scroll. Can we go up, George? Can we Can we see that someone's accusing What's you of, of, of a, up, a felony? Up a little bit down there. Is, yeah, I really feel like she exposes herself to us. Is, is, the, is, is this what we're not seeing? Is view. this what really happened in lockdown? <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing on, on those Zoom quizzes, I know, eh? I know whoever that was uh, means I've uh, emotionally exposed myself to them, I think. It's actually the same person who, um, who oh. said earlier, I am Lucy Spraggan fan and I want to be Lucy Spraggan girlfriend. <laughs> Are, are, you, are you looking, Lucy? Are you looking for I love? Am. I'm, I'm in love. You're in love. So I'm not looking You've for any more. Absolutely killed so I'm many sorry, people's Regan dreams Rangel. there, Lucy. Um, and they saw me at Manchester Pride as well. There you go. Hello. How? So that was your first ever DJ set. Yes, I DJed for the first time last night. You took it seriously though. Oh yeah. And I respect that because I, I DJ, and what I mean by DJ is go. Do you like Arctic Monkeys? Here it is. Do you like Claxons? There you go. Like that, and never shall the two meet. But you took DJ lessons, I believe. I did, yeah. There's like an art to it, isn't there? Mm. Well, yeah, there's an art to it, which I have not mastered. (laughs) (laughs) And, uh, well, everything everything that people make look easy is always really hard. So you see DJs, like, just going for it, especially vinyl DJs. Oh, Oh, yeah, the What's that all about? Jamie XX, who, who mixes live on vinyl. I'm like, do you know what, mate? You should probably find a hobby, because that's just too much. Yeah, I agree. Because, yeah, no. I mean, I went from Hit Me Baby One More Time into Last Ketchup, like, with a mix, that, like, looped mix. So they're in the Only same key. Only at Pride would yeah. that oh be acceptable. <laughs> now, yeah, I mean, if I get if I get asked to DJ anywhere else, I'm, I'm not going to know what to play. Have you learned how to do the scratching yet? Yeah, well, my, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't have CDJs or, like, I've got the little scratching things. Yeah, I've done a little bit of it. The but Scratching it's, things. Do you know, like, it's hard to just drop it in. Yeah, just just to get a mic and just do the noise yourself. That's, yeah, what that's, I, that's how I cheat around wiki it. Wah. Wiki wiki woo! Like that's that. good, Jackie actually. Woods in the house. Um, Lucy, you absolutely smashed it last night. Bexstar loved you, it. Thank you, Bex. Uh, we lo- we you guys smashed it. Because actually, what is DJing, as we were saying before? What is, to what, DJ? what is it to DJ? Mm. It's the audience, isn't it? It is. That's it true. is. The audience always say this. They're the extra member of any band, any performance. Yeah. So like, if you're saying a performance is great and you're seeing it live, you're not giving enough. That's my opinion. Um, oh, yeah, I totally agree. And like when people say, oh, the audience were a bit flat tonight, I'm always like, I, that generally means that you were, mm. as an artist, I think it means, yeah, because you're there to bring the energy. Yeah. And you're the there. Your mirror. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're there to like, I always say this about my shows, like I want people to leave thinking I can take on the world and this is like, the world, like everything's just so positive. Like that's what I want the message to be. Well, even your last album, although it was it was tricky to decide what your last album was when I was listening through it. Is it a breakup album? Is it a Finding Myself album? It's all of it. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's all of it. Mm. There was, yeah, there's like a, I'm sober, I'm divorced. Like, I'm a bad person. I'm a good person. It was Finding Myself yeah. album, that one. It was like you, you said, if Adele can do it, I can do it better, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Take well, you down. Big shoes there. Yeah, yeah big shoes to fill that, yeah. But I, what, what I like the most is that you got dead into running. I did. And as a fellow runner, what was your reason to start running? Because I think everyone's got a reason, whether it's to get away from their problems or otherwise. Uh, well, I, I got sober. And I when I was six months sober, I went to Vegas with my friends. Who Smart are, move! Who are not sober. Ooh. And so I'd been out till like six in the morning. And everyone was doing what they've always done. And it was like, whoa, this is intense. And we, we went out. I had like Red Bulls coming out of my, yeah, every pocket, like just necking these Red Bulls I'm everywhere. pockets there. Sweating Red Bulls. <laughs> <laughs> you know where yeah. I keep my Red Bulls. <laughs> I expose myself to people as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, but sponsored by Red Bull, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and I was uh, lying in bed. Uh, after this big night out at my heart, you know how your heart is like, duff, duff, duff. Yeah. and this, bo- li- literally, a voice was just like, You need to run. 
And I was like... And who was that person in your room? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, someone's under the bed. Yeah, you should run. Okay, yeah, this I will. voice. Yeah. And like, I've never run in my life. I ran 2.4K and I like literally was sick and just was like, I'm never doing that again. And then I ran the next day and I ran the next day. Six weeks later, I did my first 10K and then six weeks after that, I did my first half marathon. See, I can't even do couch to 5K. I'm doing couch to fridge. <laughs> Couch to <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, that's as far as I go <laughs> with, with you know, my routines. Mm. Um, you've been smashing out of the park for 10 years now. Congratulations. 10 years since uh, the big old X hear. Factor. When I think about it, I'm just like, it's, in some ways it feels like a whole lifetime ago. But in other ways, it feels like it was yesterday. And it also feels like it's somebody else's life. It's really strange. I guess it's weird because so much of your, your career progression, like... It, you can kind of watch back on YouTube. Yeah. Which must be weird. Be like, who's that? Oh, it's someone else. Got the same name as me and the face as well, but different person. It is (laughs) so strange, but I think that's, there's something very, uh, I don't know, there's something different about it being 10 years. Like if you look at any 10 year period of your life, there's always a significant change. And if you said, if you asked me now, where will you be in 10 years time? I know I'm old enough now to be like, I I can never answer that question for you. Mm. But when you're 20, you think you know where you're going to be and it's just not where you're going to be. No. So what would you say to your, let's go back in time 10 years and you visit... X Factor Lucy. X Factor Lucy. <laughs> what would you say to X Factor Lucy? Like, you need to calm down. <laughs> love. You need to sit down, go to sleep and shut up. <laughs> um, I would just be like, well, I'm writing a book at the moment actually. Um, plug, and plug. It, plug, 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 plug. Well, it's not even it's not even there yet. I mean, if you need an audio version, the, the me of Paris can sort that right we'll out for it. you. <laughs> Love oh, it. There we yeah. go. Um, I'll do an accent. But it is it's really interesting, like talking because I talk to my like previous selves in the book. Wow. Uh, you you, you like have a them. voice in your head that's really quite like gets you to do things. I like spiritual. this. Yeah, it is very spiritual, mm. and it's like talking. T- and part like one of the chapters is kind of like we're calling this pretty dark time, and. Uh, like an actual experience, like full of drugs, full of alcohol, like that sort of just dark night. And I was just like, I wish I could have been there to come and pick you up, like physically pick you up and take you where you needed to be at that time. And I think that's why, like, it's nice to reflect on yourself as if you were a different person because we're kinder to other people. Yeah, uh, like, are you, because at the moment your voice in your head seems quite positive and seems to be quite self-aware and like helping you. Is it always like that? It is now. It's not like it always is uh, coincidentally. Like it's some days I will be like, th- I have uh, like body dysmorphia. So some days I'll look in the mirror and just be like, oh, wow, I hate you. <laughs> and then mm. I have to control that voice and be like, oh, actually, no, I don't. It's just that some days my brain does this and I explain it to myself. So it's not that it's always positive. It's just that I have a coping mechanism now to switch that voice around. Because how did you learn that? Because I, you said in a previous interview that it, it used to be drink. You used to sort of mask it. If you, if you had to deal with any feelings, you'd just reach for the bottle. Yeah. But now you sort of go, well, th- this means I need to deal with something. And what was the process to get that? Because that's something that a lot of people will be aiming for. Th- stopping drinking is like forcing yourself to go through those things. Because if you feel... It's like when you, if you feel pain and you try to mask that, people do it with all kinds of stuff. Exercise, I've done that too. I've done it with food. Mm. I've done it with people. I have an issue with moderation. Well, I had an issue. That's an important thing too. We talk about ourselves as if we still have problems or I'm an angry person. I know I used to be an angry person and now I'm not. And it's all, I had a lot of therapy, but also at the same time, getting sober forced me to look in the mirror and be like who I like I I genuinely looked in the mirror and said who are you mm. who are you and had to ask myself and and realize who that was so for me it was stopping drinking but for anybody else it might be just stopping masking things and was this like the the key drive to writing everything changes everything changes just kind of yeah kind of like I think even up to last year I was still uh felt weird about the last 10 years and and really this year I've just been like because I suffer with imposter syndrome as we all do yeah I can totally relate yeah (laughs) Yeah. and I I would be like well why don't I have this and why don't I why why does this place not play me or or and then and then I was like wait this is great like what I have is amazing and 
and I'm so lucky and I'm so grateful. I wake up every day and I'm like, I'm so grateful for this. And, and that is kind of how everything changes came about. It's I, I love gorgeous. that. And what I love as well is you've got such dedicated fans. You've got fans everywhere, including a fan in Blocks. And I want to bring on Fee <laughs> from <laughs> Blocks Hello. to hey. come ask a few questions. How's Have it going? Got a, there's a mic down there for oh, your feet. Luke, are we all right turning that mic on? Hello, okay. check, Are we check. all good, Luke? <laughs> yeah, great. Then. So... I'm, just, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I just went to the toilet and I was trying to think Are of like the best. Are you sweating? Sorry, wipe my brow. That helps you that. stop no. sweating. Someone yes. pointed out, I've always found. Um, no, because you said to me, think of three questions. Yeah. And now my ADHD brain has gone, let's think of 3,000. That's good. Yeah. So That's good. More really is well best. Prepared. So yeah. I w cause, cause no, I'm going to go for the professional one because I think my mum's watching. So... Hi, Mum. But then, then we'll tell Mum <laughs> to Hi, Mom. cover her ears in a minute and you can ask the unprofessional one. Oh, That's yeah. what we want after that. <laughs> um, I was just going to ask, like, as a like queer artist for over 10 years in, like, in the industry, like, how, what was your experience? Like, how's your experience been with it? And, like, I, like, obviously, I've kind of followed your journey over the years. Like, you've gotten sober. And as someone who's kind of struggled with that also, like, it's good to see, it's nice to see. I just would like to know, like, how, how do you do it on tour and stuff? Do you have a regime? Do you have a routine? Do you have, like... Okay. So the, the first or question... Or do you just take second by second? Well, so, so actually, in, in response to the sobriety stuff, I, on tour, I went on tour when I was three months sober, I was on tour. I hadn't, like, outed myself as sober at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just, like, on the road, uh, and, and I was just supported by my team. They were... My keys player didn't drink for the whole show. My tour manager turned out he was 10 years sober anyway, just hadn't ever mentioned it. And I was like, what? Yeah. But with sobriety, I think it's just dead important to be surrounded by people. And not just sobriety either, with positive mental attitudes, to surround yourself with people who have a great attitude. You smell really good, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this is... I thought that too. Can we make that a highlight? Sorry. I just <laughs> there we go. Are you, are you Regan Theory <laughs> on, on, on Twitch? Because like, it sounds like the same here. Um, look, Regan there we go. Oh. There's me. Look, love the new song. You're so kind and talented. And, <laughs> like, talented, I'm, brilliant, I'm, I'm, excellent. I want some more <laughs> questions from Fee, but let me jump in before him because I know you've been writing again. Yes. And so what... Because the other one was sort of like, it really looked into your soul and what you're doing right now. There's a few songs about running. Love that too. Yeah. What's the theme of, of the new stuff? Where are we looking from and where are, are you writing from at the moment? I'm like reflective. So I'm looking back on everything and saying kind of like, this is how we move this is how i moved from this place to this place and like just reflecting on that whole journey so it's a reflection it's reflection reflective. You, you're back in the mirror again I'm you in the love mirror. That, that mirror I it, do. It, it's your enemy not and your like best friend. a narcissist no, no. guy but <laughs> yeah. you know can we take you back in time just a little bit i want you to reflect on something <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> you're but you got to join in on do this you know what it's a shame I, I forgot to bring my guitar and my recorder so you're gonna have to make do with you have a recorder as well i do That's an that is the most annoying <laughs> thing i've ever heard but i make it work yeah <laughs> so I, I made the recorder <laughs> cool guys that's right I'm going to release it in the EP one day. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do a Pride Anthem, and you've got to guess okay. the artist. Kylie and Minogue. <laughs> oh a different... <laughs> <laughs> win everything. <laughs> All right, here it is. Uh, oh. I can feel... Oh. A broken song enough. in a fall. Do you yeah. believe in love? But do you know who it is and what it's called? Share, Share believe. Yes. Oh, okay. Final well answer. Uh, honestly, you can Jack, tell I'm the ally. Step up, mate. <laughs> yeah, See? I, See? I need to try harder. The community no pride anthems. I know, I know. This is my problem. <laughs> I, uh, this is why I'm not getting into the events. I'm, uh, like You're at the door being like, you got to guess this first. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> I know, Great. sorry. That was but some class kazoo playing. That's probably the best kazoo playing I've ever seen. Can we get a seen. name for this segment? Yeah, we do need a name for kazoo, <gasps> kazoo yazoo or something like that. Oh. Something better than that. Yeah. Uh, share, uh, someone's maybe saying. Maybe Paris Piper. Yeah, the Paris Piper. Oh. There we go. Paris Sorted. Piper, that's, yeah, that's good. Paris yeah, Piper. Yeah, that's, that's good, that. Yeah, Fee, right, do you have any you. more questions? Because I, um, I'm loving this bit. Oh, I don't know. You, you did know. kind of already ask about being queer in the music industry. Yeah, mm. yeah, and then I like tangent. I also off have ADHD, like so I speak your language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've got a great like one. Cheese, yes or no? <laughs> As in just cheese? Cheese in general. Like the cheese dairy product. Any kind of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 
yeah, like absolutely. No, I think I also to... have ADHD too. <laughs> 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 I'm going through some of it. But I would look, I'd love to hear that the response to being queer yeah. in the music industry. Yes, well, important. I think the big, as more specifically being a lesbian because the term queer is so yeah. new. Yeah. I d- I just um, it's like no, no, no. no. Oh, oh, that's it's a safe it's space. Lesbian. It's a safe space here. That's quite an interesting one, actually, because um, so before I transitioned, I identified to the world as lesbian. Yeah. And now during my transition, eight months on testosterone, I feel like queer resonates with me a lot more. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it's a word that has gone from like an insult and a slur to our community is now slowly taking that back and claiming it as our own. Yeah, mm. I do love that. So I that. feel power behind it. I feel the power behind it. But at the same time, I feel this thing. So if I ask you to name cis gay um, men who are in the music industry, you can reel them off. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to ask you now to name me a British lesbian in the music industry. You. Yeah. yeah, there we go. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. And it oh, was that really rude? No, 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 no it's not rude. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's supposed to blow your mind. It's supposed to blow your mind. That the fact that I, it looks like from what we can research, I'm the only out British lesbian to have had a top 10 album in the last 20, true, 20 years, and I've had two. The last was Alex Parks of uh, Fame Academy. And and the, the term queer, I also love it. And I love the power that's behind it. But it does mean that the music industry can go, well, we've got this queer artist. And it, it's like, for me as a lesbian, I'm like, yeah, but they kind of, they're sliding around the, the fact that the, the, and I think it is the essence of the patriarchal, like, uh, s- structure mm. of my, the industry that I exist in mm. um, means that lesbians are kind of, not that useful, like, mm. or we all just get like attributed to Hayley Williams or Paramore. Mm. Oh, that's okay. yeah, yeah. The, the term the, the female fronted thing yeah. gets just tossed so around. And, and I'll tell you another thing as well I've presented as quite a uh, butch in my life and a bigger bodied person and more mask presenting, and I've presented as femme with blonde hair and fake tits and new teeth, and I present more femme. And I can tell you there is a massive difference between being crowds, those two. Right? Not the crowds as much, but it's like industry opportunity mm, yeah. and the mm. way the industry how listens to me and how the, the news and the press mm. markets mm. me. That's yeah. Mad. And mad. it's funny to have been on both sides of that. Oh, I say funny. I mean, interesting. Oh, That's someone says Cat Burns? I don't yes, Cat Burns is. And she is awesome. absolutely sick. Yeah, and she is... Awesome smashing through now and, and I love that but it's 2022 and it should have happened before because <laughs> it's not the like there that, aren't the come talented on, lesbian artists, lesbians come out. no it's not <laughs> they're there that's the yeah, thing they're there they are here but they are like they're there it's the media that it's, needs it's to everybody, yeah it's everybody sort of. else who's uh, like so. we've had a question in from uh, Regan Rango Lisa Spragan how did you first uh, found out that you was a lesbian um, I just fancied women there we go. It's as simple as that. I, I sent. Um, I actually spent the first eleven years of my life as a boy. I was called Max, and I wasn't a tomboy. I was a boy. I was yeah. Max, and if I was like told I was Lucy, I was absolutely devastated. I like, and and so it's it's really interesting actually. But yeah, when I was five, I sent my first Valentine's card to a girl called Ella in my class. Aww. How was it received? Well. Very well. Because it's you, Lucy Spraggin. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be on the X Factor. Here's a card. But they're kicking themselves now. <laughs> um, do you know when it when it comes to, because obviously, and, and we've done it, we've done it, we, we've mentioned it, the X Factor comes up every time. Do you, uh, do, you, do you ever regret the X Factor? I don't regret anything in life Good. because there's like one reality that we exist in and it's right now and it's happening right now. And mm. if I was to regret anything, it would be sending energy to something that doesn't exist. So I'm always like, I like that. The, the only route I've taken has got me right here and I'm happy and I love myself. So I'm like, yeah, go. I went on the X Factor and uh, it was rough and it was weird. But yeah, gr- uh, yeah I love that. You everything. smashed it. And like <laughs> you, you, you sort of like set a tone for it that it, you can sort of be your own artist on there. You don't have to go on and be a karaoke sort of artist. You, could, you went on and were like, these are my songs, deal with it. <laughs> and it was great. And you, you, were, you were in the charts before you'd even finished the X Factor. So <laughs> it, it was, was like, I kind of don't need you guys, so... It's like, just a fine. lot. Like, it's just a lot. A show like that is a lot. Like, fame, overnight fame is, like, extreme trauma. And, and you were young. Yeah, I was 20. Yeah, which wow. is... It's not... It's I was a child. Too, it's too big I was 20, fame. but I was, like, 12. Yeah, <laughs> I get you. Well, you're going to be performing for us in just a little sec. Um, could you 
Give us three words to describe your performance that we're going to see. Uh, <laughs> you can say, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Acoustic. Cheating. I normally play with a band. Um, and f uh, just, yeah, some old and new. Oh. There was an and in there, but, you know. Old and new. So we're going to be getting some stuff that's unreleased. No, sorry. No, sorry. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I try but and push it, but your manager's watching and <laughs> yeah. he's like, no, you're Shaking bloody his head. not. Comes and snatches the microphone out yeah, of my hand. Yeah, being like, yeah, she's no longer performing. <laughs> <laughs> she can DJ. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> there we go. She, she will be taking DJ bookings very soon. So, <laughs> <You're fake>. yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed it, but it's just hard. It's hard, it's hard. And my knees hurt it's now. so hard pressing that start button, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time it's with other stuff. True. It's not like Jack. Do you like Arctic Monkeys? Here you go. Yeah, play. <laughs> Sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I, I've been DJing and been like, where's the DJ? He's at the bar. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm getting my pint because I played a six minute. -er. That's a tip. Wow. Six minute song. Six minute song. I felt people got bored what? after Stone one and a half roses. minutes. Hello. <laughs> That's a quote right there. Yeah, there <laughs> we go. Let's bum you out a bit and I can go to the bar while you leave. Uh, <laughs> but Lucy, thank you so much.